Are you ready to create something amazing? Welcome to Sneller Creative Promotions. Custom promotional packaging and unique marketing materials. Making your business memorable. This is Sneller Creative Promotions. The podcast. Welcome to the show. We're sitting here with Jeff Snell of Sneller Creative Promotions. So, Jeff, how long have you been doing marketing and promotions? My whole life. Ever since I could walk and talk, I've been selling stuff and marketing things to people. Really? Yeah, absolutely. So you used to in the in the playground, you used to go around and uh, it's not far from the truth. So, really? Yeah. You're selling juicy fruit for ten cent, ten <laughs> cents a stick. <laughs> sort of like that. Making a profit. You yeah. buy the twenty five cent pack and you'd sell each each. Uh, each stick for 15 cents? Dude, you've, you've heard the stories before. So I started selling my, my folks uh, garden vegetables in my wagon walking around the neighborhood. Nice. Got, got a taste for uh, the door-to-door sales and the, the thrill of uh, watching dollars exchange hands. And and then eventually it turned into selling pop rocks at school and then bubble gum and literally anything you can buy and resell. If I can make a penny on it, uh, I enjoy doing it. So that has morphed from childhood enterprises into a million small businesses that currently is known as Sneller Creative Promotions, <laughs> putting logos on things. That's the sign of someone who has it in their blood. So when it comes to marketing and promotions, there's a lot of different avenues for it. You know, I mean, obviously everybody always thinks about, you know, TV and radio commercials, billboards, things like that. But uh, then there's stuff like you do is you do the uh, logos on everything, like you said, right? No matter what it is. And everybody needs that type of stuff. Absolutely. So it doesn't matter if it's a box, a binder, a folder, you know, custom logoed headphones or t-shirts or hats. I literally put a logo on anything you can hold in your hand. I mean, of course you have the pens uh, and the shirts, but th there's some uh, other, I was going through the website and uh, there's some pretty cool stuff that you've put together. Uh, I, I see a bourbon yeah, absolutely. Of course, everybody's product and company is sexy to them, but some of the ones that are name brands that everybody knows tend to tend to lend themselves better towards my custom promotional packaging. So while I say I put a logo on everything, which is true, and I don't get emotionally attached to whether it's the, the hat or the pen, what we truly shine at is promotional packaging. What does that mean? It's fancy packaging that almost feels like a gift. So it's a bottle of bourbon from the manufacturer that wants to launch the new product. Maybe it's a new bottle or a new label or it's a new blend or whatever the heck these bourbon people are trying to sell, but they want to make a big splash. They want to get their press kits or product launch kits. And who are those directed to? You know, people like yourselves, people in media who hopefully will get excited about it. And then maybe they're blogging about it. They're doing a social media post about it. It's all trying to create a buzz or an excitement level. And so when it gets to that, when, when people want to accomplish those objectives, that's where I come in. And that's what we shine as creating something with a real wow to it. And it's a nice, it's a nice thing. It's a, it's a gift. It's amazing. And you're still taking all the same tactics that you would of making like a TV commercial or a radio commercial or magazine ad. And you're bringing it to life in these memorable pieces that you can actually touch. Yeah, that's very well said. And I guess the big differentiation for me is it's literally got to be something you hold in your hand so if it's digital that's not me if it's something that uh, brendan is going to receive in the mail or it's going to be uh, a gift that's presented at a conference or a trade show uh, and something that's that that lives forever so typically the things that i produce it may hold the bottle of bourbon but the packaging oftentimes is more valuable and nicer than the, the item that goes inside of it and it's always retained nobody throws my stuff away what got you into that area my entire career, I know we talked and kind of joked about me selling stuff door to door as a kid. Um, I went to college to, to be a marketing guy, which I did. I worked my way through school as a, as a co-op sponsor for a marketing company. And it was marketing large quantities of plain, boring stuff, file folders, ring binders, office supplies, stuff that everybody uses, but none of it is, is sexy or glamorous. But I, while I was doing that, and I loved it, it was fun selling a million file folders to Office Depot. I discovered we had this little division of ours, this custom products division that would put logos on things. So they take the black ring binder and they put Anheuser-Busch on it. Or they put Sneller Creative Promotions on it. They put Shanahan Creative on there. And all of a sudden, the order quantities were drastically reduced, but all, the final product was much more interesting to me. And being able to custom manufacture things was appealing to me. So it's not just a black binder out of plastic. Maybe it's out of leather and it's hand-sewn and it's it's debossed or it's got some weird decorations to it or it's got a flap or uh, it does something there's some interactivity to it it's that's what really uh 
caught my interest. And so when I was exposed to that division, I took my first job out of college working for that division and, uh, and discovered the, uh, the thrill and the enjoyment of, of individual custom projects that accomplish my customer's objectives. So uh, it wasn't just trying to sell a million black fighters. It was that uh, Tom West needed something for, he wanted to gain awareness for his company. And maybe he only needed a thousand of these things, but it needed to be super cool. And he had a little money to spend and he wanted to create some buzz and some excitement. And that's, that's what I was drawn to. And that's kind of how I built my whole career. So I've just, I've hopped and skipped uh, several steps along the way, but uh, self-employment was always my goal and my dream. I've been lucky to, to do that through Sneller Creative. Uh, again, creating custom, unique, one-off projects. They may never repeat again, but they're amazing for the recipients who, who receive them as well as the, the companies that pay me to produce them. You're taking the tchotchke to the next level. It ain't a tchotchke <laughs> when it comes from Sneller. It's something nice. I like the way you said that. Right. And, and, and the Chotsky typically comes packaged in something super cool. So I will sell just the Chotskys. And, and if Tom needs pens with his logo, and I'm more than happy to provide those. But what's even a better fit for me and what nobody else can do is putting that Chotsky in a really cool direct mail piece or a gift box. And again, we can if, if there's money to spend, we can whack this thing out in ways that nobody else on the planet can do. How do you come up with the ideas for what you do? Like, say, the Tom West foot lotion store. Uh, how do you create something amazing for him? Great question. Uh, and every conversation, every project, every opportunity is different. And I never know. I was just talking to a customer yesterday. I said, well, how's, what's the procedure like? How's the process work? Which is a fair question, but every opportunity is different. And I never know exactly how it's going to unfold until we get more into it. So. It all starts with a conversation. You know, Tom tells me about his foot lotion and his dream. Maybe he's already selling the foot lotion or <laughs> it's a dream of selling foot lotion. <laughs> but either way, it's, or what is Tom trying to accomplish? So certain things that help me solve Tom's problem. How many of these things do you need? How much money do you have to spend? How much, How quickly do you need them? What is this something that's handed person to person? Is it a direct mail piece? Um, and, and, and through dialogue, and that's really what, I offer to my customers that they can't get online is a human being to help them, help direct them, help guide them, all of which is done free of charge. You have whatever expertise I can bring to the table, my master's degree in marketing, my whole career, all of which is free of charge until you place an order with me. Uh, and so there's a lot of expertise that I can provide and a lot of direction that I can provide that, that may or may not go anywhere. And all that is just a part of the package. You're hashing it out with your customer and you think you have an idea at the beginning. It turns out to be something completely different, but better than what they came in. It's like, hey, see what we did together. Absolutely. That's a great way to say it. And oftentimes, so things may change. They may think they want a t-shirt and then it turns into a box and then it may wind up actually being a briefcase that holds samples of the foot lotion. And I, we're joking about the foot lotion, but literally I do these these sample kits, marketing kits, sales kits. I'm doing one right now for a company that markets vitamins to zoos. Makes It's manufacture of vitamins. So the sea rays, the sea turtles, it doesn't matter what zoo animal needs some kind. And who would think about vitamins for animals? But these people have sales reps that need to go present to the zoos. And here's all the vitamins. And how can you do that in a way that's that's attractive, that's easy to carry, that's fully branded and whacked out with their logo. And so here's the challenge. So this guy came to me and he said, that he's got all these huge, and they're big, they're big pills. They're not like the vitamins that you and I would take. So right. they, their sales reps have these big bottles of pills and, and, and there's 14 of them. And so nobody's gonna carry in all these big bottles. So how do you create a, a kit that's attractive and easy to use, et cetera? So I've got this metal briefcase that's got their logo on it. You open it up inside, die cut foam with 14 little plastic containers. Nice with their logo on it and each little container holds a smaller quantity of their vitamins flip over the back of that plastic case it's labeled with what kind of vitamin it is so the sales rep can present the the puffin vitamins right. and the penguin vitamins uh and then we further not only do i create the briefcase and little plastic cases i pay them we've got fulfillment or assembly services where the people sit there and they sort out the puffin uh, vitamins etc cetera, etc cetera. and then we drop ship it so i can send that to all you know and if it's 100 sales reps one goes to brennan one goes to tom etc cetera, etc cetera. that creative level of something that you wouldn't expect it to be you, you, you know? guarantee that that's a talking point for the sales rep going into the zoo oh yeah because right? they'll notice it and be like yeah this is our fancy case Here, yeah, this isn't this. your father's briefcase yeah. <laughs> right you know i mean that's you know you, you know in in the business world everybody you know, wonders why some people still wear suits right somebody walks in in a suit 
you turn your head right away. Somebody walks in with a cool briefcase that looks like they've got top secret stuff in there. They're turning their heads like, wow, that's pretty cool. It, it's it's just that, that thing that catches the eye and commands the attention. I love it. Couldn't say any better myself. That's cool. It's really, really cool stuff. And speaking of cool stuff, I'm a huge basketball fan. And uh, you said that you did the swag bags for the NBA All-Star game? I did. Yeah, so the, my my real sweet spot in my target audience is not only marketing people at any company of, of, of any size, but ad agencies and graphic designers. Those people are the ones that have the crazy ideas that everyone's afraid of. Nobody knows how to attack them. And that's why when you ask me what I do, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to say exactly what I do. What I do is solve people's problems. And I can think of these wild, artsy-fartsy, creative uh, individuals that have amazing ideas, and I actually make them happen. And that all starts the conversation like this. So yeah, they in this case, it, the end user was JBL headphones, kind of like the headphones we're wearing now. Uh, it was their 70 year anniversary and they wanted to give out a gift of their really expensive headphones. These are like $500 headphones uh, to certain customers of theirs, in this case, NBA players, with the hope that not only would the players be glad to receive the gift, branded of course, um, right. but they wanted them to do social media posts. So tweet it, you know, Instagram it, whatever. Uh, and, and so that was the challenge. How can we create this gift that will be cool enough, memorable enough to create excitement from celebrities to go so that they'll, on their own personal accounts, blast this out? So yes, it was a swag bag, but it was also a a display case for this expensive set of headphones. And as I mentioned earlier about the alcohol box, you know, my case was probably more expensive per unit than the headphones. But the packaging, as we all know, sells and reinforces the message inside. So. This case was a clear liftoff lid case. The headphones were mounted on the JBL logo as an exclamation point. And so it was a custom exclamation point, fully logoed and printed all around this exclamation point. Headphones mounted on that with the, the liftoff lid. So, so the presentation was such that when this thing arrived, and the other cool thing about my packaging is that it, it feels like a gift. So when something comes to your house, it doesn't matter what, whether you hope to receive it or are expecting to receive it or not. If you get something from UPS or FedEx or even the mail, there's there's a certain level of excitement to open that up, especially if you're not accepting, uh, expecting them. In this case, the celebrities, you know, open the box, they lift out this beautiful packaging, and and because the it was an, a, a plastic lid, you can see what's inside of it. So anyway, right. the buzz was was incredible, uh, way beyond the expectations of JBL and the ad agency who I had uh, created this for. That's awesome. I it, it, I wish I would have got some JBL headphones. I guess they learn need to learn how to dunk. You, we need to uh, be better friends with Jeff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I take care of my people. I know you, you know do. Which... <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. And there were NBA players that were tweeting like pictures of, of that stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, and that's a uh, and all of my customers are important to me. But it's certainly fun for me when I can see these these uh, celebrities and uh, and the name brands are fun and exciting. I did another a box for Dwayne Wade, and again, I'm unlike you. I'm not a big basketball fan. I'm a football guy, but I can certainly appreciate greatness. And I know Dwayne Wade is is a great player. But I did this box. I know you hadn't much asked me about this, but uh, there was this new line of clothing. So another one of my customers is called Mission. They do cooling towels and athletic apparel and things like that. And um, they had this new line where it would reflect. The lights hit reflective inks on the clothing, and, and it I don't know what the purpose or why you want it to reflect, but that was their that was their gimmick. And they wanted a box that was branded ar around Dwayne Wade because he wears this um, this apparel. It, it, to create some excitement like it's flashing it's 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 a strobe light it's that kind of thing so that they came to me and said what kind of direct mail piece can you do for us and so this box uh, which is basically a corrugated box but tricked out they had a magnetic flap you open it up and the the, the trick to this was it had to flash so i've got these little blinking lights mounted on the inside lid so when you open the lid it, and it's in a it's in a random pattern of flashing lights strobe lights flashing at you and then Inside are, are all of the clothing items that, as the lights hit them, you're seeing the reflection, the effect of the reflection on the clothing. Same customer, their um, their their performance wear wicks away sweat, which everybody wants, and uh, they wanted a kit that would show, and it was called Vapor Active was their brand. How do you show that it vaporizes your sweat? 
I did a dry ice kit that again contained the clothing. Oh, that's cool. Dry ice underneath, and when you and and literally they wanted this kit to arrive frozen so that when when Brendan and Tom open this kit, not only does it freeze your hands, but you open it up and the vapor will will evaporate and kind of blast you in the face. I mean, they really wanted this thing to to uh, to make an extreme impact. So we used the dry ice, sent these kits out overnight. Took a lot of testing to make sure that we didn't want these kids to show up and have the the ice be gone <laughs> and in and, and, and for it to fail in uh, in reality, but it did not. It, I've got a, a really cool video of these kids literally opening up and, they, and they're frozen to the touch. And as you open this thing, you get this blast of coolness in your face. And then as you lift, it had a, another lift off piece that would reveal the clothing, and you could just see the <laughs> you could just see the dry ice fumes. Uh, anyway, th- those are the kinds of things that. You don't you don't forget opening that package. No. Yeah. That's that's awesome. That is totally awesome. Like what a really cool creative way to do something like that. Yeah, and that's where you mentioned like those, those it takes a lot of dialogue and a lot of conversation to get to that final solution. So back to the the girl asking me yesterday, what's the procedure? It's like there is none. We just kind of figure it out as we go. And if people have the the time and the patience for us to to arrive, it may take Five minutes, or it may take us weeks to figure out what is going to be the perfect solution. But that's what I'm good at, and that's where that's where Sneller comes in. You know, as corny as it sounds, I love the end result is what I love. A, a thrilled customer, making them look good, making them shine, having their whatever their objective is, their story is, whatever their product is, having that succeed for me. That's that's the reward. And oftentimes for me, because my items are things you can hold in your hand, for me, the sample and the, the solution and the story that I'm telling you guys, that's the reward. So that's what I love. I love, I do love helping people succeed because, of course, it comes back and helps me succeed as well. But I do love marketing and I love executing people's marketing ideas. If you want to create something amazing, go to SnellerCreative.com. That's what you do. I love it. Hey, this has been a lot of fun. We'll do it again. Thanks. Uh, you. You've got some great insights, some great stories. I uh, love to hear about all these, you know, neat products that you put out there. So thanks, thanks again to Jeff Snell, Sneller Creative Promotions dot com. This has been Create Something Amazing, a Sneller Creative Podcast. Make your business memorable. Go to SnellerCreative.com. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. For more episodes to find out what Sneller Creative can do for you, create something amazing, the podcast produced by the podcastproshop.com.